Now that we've reviewed the log properties, we're ready to now finally get into the calculus part of it. So here are the derivatives for your natural log uh, of x, and then also if you have something else inside that's not an x, we have a chain rule. So natural log of x is just 1 over x, and then for if you have a u inside, you're applying a chain rule. So what you do is you take the derivative of the inside on top and then just divide it by what was originally inside. So u primed over u is the formula. So now that we've looked at these, let's do these two examples. Now for this one, that could be something that you could use a quotient rule for when we get to the u prime part, but instead I'm going to actually rewrite this as 9x to negative 2. I'm going to do that part first and the reason why is because it's going to be easier to take a derivative of that if it's in this form. That way we don't need to worry about using quotient rule. So let's apply this formula. y primed is going to equal, following the formula it's u primed over u. We're going to take the derivative of this first using the power rule. That's going to go on top. That's your, your u primed. Negative 2 comes down multiplied by the 9, negative 18 Track one from the exponent and you get negative three. On the bottom, you're just going to put 9x to negative two. Okay, so now that we have it in that form, we need to use some exponent properties for simplifying here. So the way we can do that is first of all, negative 18 divided by 9 is negative two, and then we just have to deal with the exponent. You're taking the top one minus the bottom one, so negative three minus negative two and that's going to leave you with negative 1. So you get negative 2x to the negative 1 when you subtract those, but we want to write it out uh, as a fraction. So here's your final answer. y prime is going to be negative 2 over x. So that would be the final answer that you'd have for this one. That would be y prime. Let's now take a look at the bottom one. In this case, the bottom thing, or the part inside is going to be your u. So we have cosecant x is your u this time. So if I want to find my y primed, I'm going to follow the same formula, u primed over u. I've got to take the derivative of the inside divided by what was originally on the inside. So I'm going to put cosecant down here because that's originally what my u is. On top, I want to do the derivative of cosecant x, which is negative cosecant x cotangent x. You can cancel out, once you do that, you can cancel out these cosecants. And then your final answer, y primed, is going to be negative cotangent x. So again, the formula that's important to know here, u primed over u, whenever you're taking the, natural, the derivative of a natural log and the part inside is something that's other than a regular x.